I love the Philippines so much, I just wanted to stay. To me, it is paradise here. I don't think the Filipino really understands, you know, what a beautiful country he has. My relationship started November 1993. Arrived for the uh, power plant here. There was a time we went down to Dick's diner. I met Linda, she was cashier. Magre-request siya na gusto ko yung siya magbigay sa akin ng iinumin ko. And we started talking a bit more and that's how it started. Lahat naman kasi talaga napakaganda ng ugali niya eh. Inahon niya ako, binigyan niya ako ng magandang buhay. Kahit na hindi siya yung, yung father ko talaga, I know deep inside my heart siya talaga yung tatay ko. Malabiro po pag minsan, yun po, makulit din ho. Papa, kailangan ko ng ganyan. Ibibigay niya, wala nang tanong-tanong. Linda was very, very caring. And you know... Where? <laughs> well, I like the, the, how funny she is. Immigration would not extend my visa anymore. So I was literally forced to go back to the UK. And then I started to feel homesick for the Philippines. And I really was homesick, you know. And the moment I'd see a Filipino walking down the road, I'd stop, paliwarang, and you know, dismiss, <laughs> all sorts of stuff. My wife here, I must have liked crazy. Oh. <laughs> it's very, very hard having a long distance relationship. It's very difficult. Oh, every week. Every week I send money. Sometimes it's small, sometimes it's big. You wouldn't even believe how much I miss my kids. I've missed my kids from growing up. The lace, it was like that. Like that, yeah. And John Michael, he's my only boy. He's something special to me. Yeah, I love him so much. It was a lady from London, and uh, she says, you have won a trip to Manila, back and forth. I was absolutely gobsmacked. I was amazed. Tinatanong ko siya sa FB, you come over here, Michael? No. I won't go. I saw Linda, and then I saw Tutoy, and Bachoy, and they all come running down. Big hugs, big kisses. Sobrang saya ko po, as in, iyak po talaga ako nung nagkita po ulit kami. Oh, it was nice. It was a nice feeling, yes. And I say, sweetheart, I love you so much. Would you still be prepared to marry me? And she always says, yes. Yes. Yes, for 11 years. Yes. It's been a long, long journey, a very emotional journey for me. But I'm pleased I came, I'm pleased I got married, I met my wife now, and I've waited for 20 years to do this. And now, it's finally happened.